Hey guys, it's Jen. Today I am going to be going into a lot of stores looking for some Halloween decorations and I'm really excited to do that. Um, right now I'm about to go into Hobby Lobby. You can see it back there behind me. Um, so I'm going to take you in. I'm going to show you kind of what's all in there and shop with me and then... Um, yeah, I'm going to go in quite a few other stores too, just to browse real quick, see what they have. And then um, I will show you everything that I have for my Halloween decor that I got this year. And yeah, it'll be fun. So they really didn't have too much in Hobby Lobby, just this one main aisle and then a couple little um, center cap type of things. Um, but over here is kind of like party kind of stuff, plates, tablecloths, and then some little crafting stuff. And everything at Hobby Lobby was 40% off in the Halloween um, section. I really liked this little banner here. There was a lot of Halloween ribbon and a lot of crafting kind of supplies and crafts and, and all of that. So that looks like a lot of fun if you need some crafting stuff. So here's one of the little center displays. Um, there were two of these that had some Halloween stuff and a lot of it looked pretty much picked over already. Um, and unfortunately there were a couple broken things too, um, but things were just kind of thrown on there, what's left of all the Halloween stuff. There were some pretty cute things. Um, some of it was just okay in my opinion, um, but there were some really cute things. I really liked that little boo wooden block sign. Um, that was really cute. I was really, really impressed with all of Michael's Halloween decor this year. I really wanted a lot of stuff from in here, um, but of course I had to limit it. Um, but they had a lot of cute Halloween garlands and just all kinds of stuff in different styles. Um, a lot, a lot of options here.
and everything at Michael's was 40% off on this day as well. These little candelabras were really pretty to me. And then in a little bit, you'll see um, a big one that I absolutely loved. They had a quite a few um, really cute pillows too. There were some on another aisle as well. I was loving this whole little section. I don't know, it's more of the spooky haunted house kind of look. Um, just a lot of really cool stuff. This was on another aisle in kind of a different area in Michael's and it had a lot of the scary skeletons and ghosts and kind of like all, a lot of outdoor decorating stuff and just a lot of the bones <laughs> on this whole aisle. Um, I've wanted one of these like life-size kind of um, skeleton men, <laughs> I guess you want to call it. Um, but I have not been able to break down and just spend the money on it. Um, I always look for them after Halloween to get them more on a sale, but I just, I think I've come across them before, but I just didn't pull the trigger on it. But if I find one after Halloween this year, I'm going to get one because I just think they're so cool looking. So this is at the Target dollar spot. Um, I've made quite a few different trips here on my different trips to Target, just glancing if they have anything new and just getting a couple each new things each time. Um, they had some pretty cute banners. A lot of the stuff was kind of picked over when I recorded this um, little clip for this trip, but they still had some pretty cute stuff. I should have got those little bottle tags, but I didn't do it and they were the only one. So I knew if I were to go back and get them now that they'd be gone. <laughs> this is in the um, regular Halloween section back in the back of Target. For this shopping trip in Target, I had my little man with me and so it made recording and <laughs> shopping kind of challenging, but this time he wanted to do one of those little scary Halloween toy things and he, he loved that one.
So here's a glance of the Halloween stuff that they have at Dollar Tree this year. I love to go to Dollar Tree for any kind of holiday around the holiday time. You can get decorating stuff, stuff for parties, um, just a lot of options at a great price. So we got some stuff from the Dollar Tree to decorate with. Here at Walmart, um, they had an aisle, a couple aisles that had all the Halloween stuff, a lot of outdoor decorations, and then um, some indoor kind of stuff, but just a lot of bones and skulls and, um, you know, the Halloween stuff. I thought this little wooden ghost here was super cute. I glanced around for a little bit in home goods. The only thing um, I got in here was a table runner, but a lot of this kind of stuff was picked over already as well because I previously looked in here and saw a bunch more Halloween stuff. Um, but there were still some cute stuff left, but nothing that I just had to have and wanted to spend that much money on. Um, but there were still some pretty cute things in here.
Now here in Joann's, they had some super cute Halloween decorations this year. Um, but for some reason, it seemed a little bit more expensive than what I remember them being. Um, I think the Halloween stuff was, I don't know if it was 40 or 50% off when I was looking, but even still, like I kind of didn't want to spend that much money on what some of the things were. Um, but I really liked that pillow. That was super cute. Um, but they had a lot of cute signs and just a lot of little decor pieces that I could definitely see in my home. But I just, I just didn't get anything from here. home and behind me I have laid out all the Halloween decorations that I have got this year um, a lot from today and a couple of the other stores that I went to um, you can kind of see some of them as I was kind of strolling through the store and it showed you video on those um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that I have purchased for my Halloween for this year so I'm gonna start out with everything that I have got from Target most of it from the Target Dollar Spot or Spots Playground, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then a couple things from like the actual Halloween section in Target. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you all that stuff. First up is this dish towel set. I like the little palms here on the bottom. It says, tell me something spooky. And then the second one just has pumpkins. Got this four count of mini pumpkins for $3. This little fabric pumpkin here, I have two white ones like this and I thought I'd put the black one with it for Halloween and those are just a dollar. I love these pumpkins this year from the Target Dollar Spot. They are so cute and awesome for a dollar. These came from the Target Dollar Spot as well. They were three dollars each but they're um, just a black boxwood little greenery pieces. I don't know if I'll leave them together or pick some of them off and kind of make them fillers, you know, with some decorations or something. Um, but I got two of those. I got this little thing. It's called tabletop tombstones and it's a chalkboard. So you can write kind of anything that you want to on them and they're just like roped together. And I thought that was pretty cute. I don't know what I'll do with them or what I'll put on it, but I don't know. We'll figure something out. Got these two tombstones. Thought these were really cute. They were a dollar each from Target. This glitter wreath was also from Target and it was uh, $5. And it goes along and matches these little um, plants here. What do they call these? A spooky tree is what they call it. Um, but I got two of those, they're pretty big, and those were $5 each. I got this tiered tray here, this little tiered stand. I'm not sure if I will use it for Halloween or what I'll use it for, um, but it's not bad for five bucks, so I got that stand. I got this four pack of mini cauldrons. This came from the actual Halloween section, the hide and eek is what you're, I guess, hide and eek <laughs> is the brand at Target. Um, but they're just four mini plastic cauldrons. I figured I could use these on my tier tray or, you know, just for Halloween or, you know, for our food or I don't know what, but I thought those were pretty cute. This was also from the, um, hide and eat brand at Target. So this is just a skeleton hand. I don't know. I thought this looked, this one looked really good from a lot of them that I saw and that was $3. These bar towels here, that's what they have on them. I'm not sure what I will use these for. I thought about um, making a pillow cover with them, but I don't know, we'll see if I get that far. 
um, got this haunted house sign here. It's like a mini metal sign, so I thought that was really cute. Got this little plant here. I just thought that was really cute with the black pot and the black greenery there that's supposed to be green and it's got gold. Um, this was $3. I got one of the wire web baskets. Thought that was pretty cute. You can put some pumpkins or I'm not sure what yet in it, but I liked the little basket. This black boo pumpkin was $3. This wooden trick or treat sign for $1. I just think these little signs are so cute. And I had to get these potion bottles. They are just so adorable. Um, I had this one, it lights up. It says, I don't think I can get it on. Or if the battery works. Oh, I have to pull the little thing out. Um, this one says October 31st. And this one says Witch's Brew. I just thought those were super, super cute. And the final things from the Target dollar spot are these two pillows. I got these two separate times, um, but the pillows are $5 each. And this, this one, what does it say? Ghosts and goblins, spooks galore, scary witches at your door, jack-o'-lanterns smiling bright, wishing you a haunting night. So that's pretty cute. And then this other one just has, um, it says our nest with like little embroidered stitching and on the back, it's just kind of got little weave patterns. So that's all from Target. I got one thing from Home Goods, and that is this table runner. I was looking at a lot of places for table runners and I just didn't really find many that I liked. Um, so I came across this one and I like it. I don't think I have one in my bins from Halloween before, um, but I will probably end up using this one. It's got spider webs and it's got a little spider on there. Next, I'm going to show you everything that I got from Michaels and I was really impressed with all of their stuff this year. I just wanted to get a lot more than I actually did, um, but I'll go ahead and show you what I got from there. First up are these um, iron keys is kind of like what it, what it is. They're really heavy. Um, and I, I don't know, I just, I thought they were just so cool, um, like a little haunted house, like with the keys and, and everything. And all of the stuff at Michael's today was 40% off and these are regularly $14 and it's usually a little bit more than I would get for decorations for something like this, but I've had my eye on something like this for a couple years now. So I'm like, I'm just going to go ahead and get them. This little jar says bone dust. It's got a little lid on it. This was regularly $7 and then of course the 40% off. Got this mini luminary. It lights up inside and I just thought this was so cute. I might use this on my tiered tray, um, but that was really cute. That's regularly $6 and then the discount. I got these two little picks here. I thought I could just use them sticking them in my tier tray or just somewhere. I don't know, but I thought they were super cute. They were originally $6. I got these on another trip to Michael's um, and I think the stuff was either 50 or 60% off when I got these. But So I'm really excited about this candelabra. Um, it was $20 and then the 40% off of that, um, but it has little webs and the spider here and it holds three um, like tea light sized candles. Um, but I thought that was really cute. There was a bigger one that I wanted to get that had like um, black jewels like hanging from it and it was a lot bigger. Um, but that one was regularly $40 and I just, I don't know. I didn't want to spend that much on one, but I thought that was really cool. Okay, and I got this picture here. <laughs> And I think I'm going to put it on my mantle, but if you look, it's like a creepy looking picture, but then when you look at it from the other direction, <laughs> it's like we can get scary. I have Kaylin right here and she just saw that for the first time. Oh my gosh. Is that going to really freak the kids out or what? It won't freak me out because I already saw it once yeah. and it scared me. I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool. 
All right, and also for Michaels are these little hanging ghost guys. They were regularly $5. And I'm gonna hang these, I think, on little wall um, plaques. I don't really know which column um, that are fairly new that I'm gonna hang on each side of the TV. So I'm gonna hang one of these on those. So one more thing for Michaels, and I did not take it out of the bag because it would be really messy, but it's this glitter garland. It's really long, so it's just all wrapped up in this bag here, but it matches these um, spooky trees and wreath that I got from the Target dollar spot. Um, so it has like the glittery branches with bats and spiders, um, and it's got that along the whole thing, and it's really long. Um, it's regularly $18 and then the 40% off. So I thought that was actually a pretty good price um, with the sale price because that's a lot of garland. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, so that's all for Michaels. I'm going to move on to Hobby Lobby next. Okay, I got this doormat, this outdoor doormat. It's just got this little ghost on it. Um, and this was $10. I got this little hanging flag thing. It says come in for a bite with a little bat. It's just so cute to me. It was $4 and then all the stuff at Hobby Lobby was 40% off as well. So Okay, so I also got these spider web placemats. It's a pack of four for $7 and we have six place settings at our table. So I got two sets, um, but yeah, I'm gonna put that with the little um, spider web table runner over there and I thought that was pretty cool. I got this hanging sign from there and it was regularly eight dollars. says happy haunting. I got two of these mini um, little cake stand things. They're three dollars each and then 40% off of that. I just love decorating with these little stand type of things. And then I got this little candle holder type of thing. It's a sparkly haunted house type of thing. It was regularly $10. And then you can put a little candle back here. And I have some of those um, LED, you know, flickering kind of Halloween type of candles that I put in there. But I liked that. It goes along with all the black and the glittery kind of stuff. And the last thing from Hobby Lobby, um, I saw this little pumpkin kit, which I thought was really cute. Um, it just like little sticky things that you can put on pumpkins. Try to focus on that. Trick or treat, happy Halloween, and one says boo. So I thought that was really cute. And it's like a little felt kind of material. So that's all from Hobby Lobby. Now I'm going to show you what I got from Walmart. So from Walmart, I got this little ghost guy here. It's a little um, candle holder too. Um, just a white porcelain ghost. So you can put the little candle in the back. And this was $1.98. I got these two little potion bottles and I thought they were super cute. Um, the black one says poison, drink at your own risk. And then here's the other one, unfiltered poison. These were $3.24 each. This trick-or-treat sign came from Walmart. It was $2.58. It's a little wooden sign here. I got three packs of the wall creatures. I got the bats that you can stick onto the wall. It comes with 12 in each pack and they are $1.98 each. And then I also got some of this like black meshy fabric kind of stuff. I already have some of this, but I wanted to go ahead and get another one. So I got one of those and I forget how much this was, maybe around $3. And then the last thing from Walmart was this little jack-o'-lantern um, pillow. And the pillow was uh, $5.94. I got one thing from Marshalls and it's this coffee mug. It's got little bones for the handle and this little skeleton guy and it says boo. That was $4 orange on the inside. I got a couple things from Five Below. I didn't really get too much from there, um, but I got this 10-piece bag of bones set. Um, I thought this was pretty good for $5 for the whole bag of bones. I should have gotten two of these actually, <laughs> but 
bag of bones, and then also a bag of skulls. It's four skulls, um, and they are 150. Okay, so the last place I believe is Dollar Tree. I got quite a few little stuff from Dollar Tree. I always love going to Dollar Tree for any kind of seasonal holiday kind of decorating kind of stuff or crafting stuff. Um, but from Dollar Tree, I got this squeaky little rat. I actually already have one of these, but when I'm decorating, I kind of like, I don't know, I want another one to put somewhere else too. So I got one of those. And then I also got one of these bats. I thought these were really cool. They're skeleton tongs. There's two of them in this set. So you can use them um, like for serving up your spooky food or whatever. We always like to do a spooky dinner on Halloween or have Halloween parties. Um, so I thought these would be perfect <laughs> for that. I got this ceramic skull from the Dollar Tree. It's white with a little iridescent kind of touch to it. This little mini bag of skulls. I don't know how many are in here. Eight count. So eight are in here. I got this skull on like a little stand kind of thing here. I don't know. It's just on display and the mouth moves. And then I got two of these black roses with the eyeballs in them. And then it's got, I think, a couple spiders in there. So I got two of those. Then I got this candle holder. I thought that was pretty cute find from the Dollar Tree. I saw quite a few like this in other stores. Usually a little bit bigger, but a lot more expensive. Um, so I thought that was pretty good for a dollar. And then I got these two glass bottles. They're orange, they have like the little cork in them. Um, this was not in the Halloween section. It's just their normal section glassware at Dollar Tree. Um, but I know that they usually have these bottles. So I looked over there and they had orange. So I'm gonna use these along with the potions. I might um, make some little things that hang from it or make little decals for them on my silhouette. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet, but for a dollar each, they're really big. And I don't know, I think they'll be look really cute with all the potion-y kind of things that I got. So that's all from the Dollar Tree. And the last thing, I forgot about this. I got this from Ross. I saw it when I was looking in there and thought it was really cute. Um, and this is what it is, like a little easel type of sign. It says, the witch is in. And I just thought that was super cute. And then I didn't even realize it because I loved this side so much. But when I got home and took it out of the bag, it has a witch and says Hocus Pocus on the back. So it's like whichever one you want. Or if you have somewhere that you can see the front and back of something, um, it's really cute for that. And this was $7. So that's it. That's all that I've purchased for my Halloween decor this year. It's got me really excited to deck out my house for Halloween. We like to just go all out and have fun with it. The kids absolutely love it. And yeah, it's just a lot of fun. So I will do a Halloween home tour. And so that'll be up, I don't know, a couple weeks. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and th I'm not gonna lie, when I was looking and shopping for this Halloween stuff today in the stores, kind of glance at the Christmas stuff and it started getting me excited, but I'm going to hold up on the Christmas stuff. <laughs> I start mentally planning for Christmas in October, but I don't start purchasing or decorating until the beginning of November. So there's that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you like seeing all the Halloween stuff in the stores and seeing what I purchased this year. And, and don't forget to subscribe if you are new so you don't miss out on my Halloween home tour or my future cleaning, decorating, organizing type of videos. Uh, but that's it for today and I will see you next time. Bye guys!